Hi students, in this chapter we will learn about introduction to three dimensional coordinate system. Till now you have studied about only 2D, here we will learn about 3D. In 3D we will have three axes which are x axis, y axis which you are comfortable with already. Here we will have extra one axis that is z axis and all these three axes are mutually perpendicular to each other x axis, y axis and z axis. Here for everything we add z coordinate extra. What is our origin in 2D? Origin in 2D is 0 comma 0. In 3D it is 0 comma 0 comma 0. Here we add one 0 extra. Apart from lines and points here we will have planes also. What do I mean by plane? Let us look at our first plane. So, the plane that contains x and y axis is the x y plane x and y axis are two lines, the plane in which these two lines are there, this is called x y plane. Similarly, the plane in which y axis and z axis are there, that is called y z plane. Similarly, if we look at here, this is our z x plane which consists of x axis and z axis. Now, we have planes and our coordinate axis and our origin. Let us look at the next concept. Our next concept is marking a point A comma B comma C. So, in two dimension it is very easy if you have to mark 2 comma 3 or A comma B something like that. In 3D if you have to mark A comma B comma C, how do we do it? We have to follow a procedure. What are the procedures? The first procedure is construct a cuboid. The second procedure I will tell you after doing the first procedure. Let us look at how to construct a cuboid. So, we have to take our x axis, y axis and z axis. In this, this is our origin which is 0 comma 0 comma 0. So, we have to mark our point a comma b comma c. First, I will take a comma 0 comma 0 on x axis. Then, I will take 0 comma b comma 0 on y axis. Similarly, I will take 0 comma 0 comma c on z axis. Now, I have three points. Now, what will I do is from x axis and y axis, I will drop two perpendiculars such that they will meet at a point. Let us look at those two perpendiculars from these two that they are meeting at a comma b comma 0. From x axis and y axis, if we drop two perpendiculars, they are meeting at a comma b comma 0. Similarly, we will drop two perpendiculars from x and z axis, they will meet at a comma 0 comma c. Now, we have two more axes left, those two if we drop perpendiculars, they will meet at 0 comma b comma c. Now, we have three different points, I told you we have to construct a cuboid. If I have to complete the cuboid, I have to draw three more lines which they will meet at this point, which is our required point a comma b comma c. So, what do we do? We take the appropriate dimensions on x axis, y axis and z axis we try to construct a cuboid, one end of the corner will be origin, other corner will be our point A comma B comma C. I hope this is simple. Now, next way we mark it is move A units along x axis and B units parallel to y axis and C units parallel to z axis. I said A units along x axis, B units parallel to y axis and C units parallel to z axis you will reach the point a comma b comma c. I hope you understood how to mark a point a comma b comma c. Let us look at the next thing. Equations of the planes. So, for marking the equations of the plane, let us take all the points that are there on x y plane. If we take all the points on x y plane, we observe one simple property for all of them. I hope now you will observe it much better. All the z coordinates on the x y plane are 0. So, we say the x y plane equation is z equal to 0. Now, let us look at the next plane. If we look at y z plane, all the x coordinates on the y z plane will be 0. So, our equation of y z plane is x is equal to 0. Similarly, if we look at the x z plane, all the points on x z plane will have y coordinate 0. So, the equation of x z plane is y equal to 0. I suppose you are clear with all these equations. 
let's look at some simple simple formulas which are nothing but small extension or z coordinate extra for 2d geometry the first formula is distance formula i hope this is our simple formula in 2d geometry square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square we will simply add z2 minus z1 whole square to get our distance formula in 3d geometry similarly our ratio formula if we have m is to n ratio for two points our ratio formula is this one m x2 plus n x1 upon m plus n comma m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus n here we add one z coordinate extra which is m z2 plus n z1 upon m plus n the last one is the most easiest formula our centroid formula centroid formula is sum of the coordinates by 3 in 2d it is x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 in 3d we simply add the z coordinate extra that is z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3 i hope you learned basics of 3d geometry and very simple formula